After making bank during the pandemic, billionaires are seeing red this year. Take Zuckerberg, who's lost more than half his net worth. But those steep declines, mostly in tech, are opening the door for others to move up the Bloomberg Billionaires Index. We've got the rich folks climbing the ranks in this week's Five for Friday. American energy tycoon Harold Hamm is the chairman of Continental Resources, the biggest shale oil producer in North Dakota and Montana. With soaring energy prices, Continental stock is up 50% this year, and so is his net worth. He's added over $7 billion in 2022, making him the 57th wealthiest human. French brothers Alain and Gerard Wertheimer together own fashion and fragrance house Chanel. It certainly smells like money after each gaining $8.5 billion this year, putting them at 26 and 27 on the billionaires index. You'd think a tight economy would take a toll on luxury brands, but last year's $15.6 billion revenue windfall gave these brothers a big boost. Logistics and shipping have been in huge demand, and Rolofo Sadi has taken advantage, more than doubling his fortune with $10.5 billion added so far this year. Sadi is the chair and executive of CMA CGM, the world's third biggest container shipping company with revenue of $66 billion in 2021. He's now 89 on Bloomberg's list. Guillaume Poussas has seen his net worth jump 11.7 billion this year, reaching just shy of 20 billion total. His company Checkout.com struck it big during the pandemic, its volume tripling in 2020. It's now worth 40 bill and he's the 72nd richest person on the planet. Not bad for a dude who dropped out of college to surf. Move over, Jeff Bezos. This man just unseated you as the number two richest person in the world. India tycoon Gautam Adani has nearly doubled his wealth this year to reach 150 billion. But get this, he was only worth 10 billion before the pandemic. Adani got rich on ports and power plants. The multinational stock has surged more than 1,500% since 2020. What, not one of these dudes owns a space rocket company? Eh, I guess they can hitch a ride with Musk or Bezos who stand at one and three. That's your Five for Friday. I'm Simone Del Rosario, and it's just business.